Hello everyone! Today I'll be introducing you to how to make pattern designs on iPad. Seamless pattern designs like this one here are called patterns, and I'll be giving a tutorial on how to make these on iPad. A small square on the left is the base design, and by putting many layers all together, you can make a great pattern design just like the one on the right. The app we'll be using today is called Affinity Designer. It's similar to Adobe Illustrator, but it costs around $24, which is a little expensive, but it's a very useful app, so if you're trying to learn design, I highly suggest getting this app. One of the tools on this app called Symbol lets you create patterns easily. So in today's video, I will explain how to create these pattern designs easily using this app. Okay, so now I'll start my tutorial. Click on plus button to open a new canvas and select new document. The initial setup will be essential in this tutorial and I'll be adjusting the dimensions. Change the width to 500 pixels and the height to 500 pixels to create a square. At the bottom, there is an option that says create artboard. So make sure you click on that and turn it on. Then click OK. Once you open your canvas, a 500 times 500 pixel square should show up on your screen. And now we'll be creating a big square on the right. To do so, I'll be copying and pasting artboard 1. To copy and paste, long press using two fingers and drag the artboard to the right. And an exact copy of artboard 1 will be placed. Now we will be enlarging the square on the right. When doing so, I want to measure the dimensions accurately. So go to the tool panel on the right side and locate the icon third from below, which will let you change the canvas size. Click on it and change the dimensions to 4000 pixels times 4000 pixels. This should create the canvas very big like this, and now place the big square on the right side. I'm done with the preparation, and now I'll start creating the design. When creating design, we'll make it on the small square here. First, we'll be putting a solid color in the background. So take the rectangle tool and fill in the square like this. Change the color using the panel at the top right. Once you complete this part, the next part is really important. We'll be transforming this into a symbol, and when changing it into a symbol, click on the mark that looks like a ninja star or a tire in the toolbar. Then a panel for symbols should pop up, so click on settings and click on add symbol within the selected area. Then the red square should appear below the symbol, which means that this red square has been identified as a symbol, and now we can make patterns on it. Next we'll copy and paste this red square onto the big white square. When copying and pasting, click on the settings at the top and click on copy. And then select paste, which will paste the red square on the right. And now we want to fill up the white square with the small red squares. And when doing this, use your two fingers just like last time and long press while dragging your pen to the right to create a new red square on the right. Just like this, we want to line up more of these squares on the right, but there's a much easier way to do this. In the toolbar, there's an option called duplicate. And when you click on that, a new red square will be pasted on the right just like this. The system memorizes the distance between each square as well, so the new square will be pasted with the same spacing. This is called repetitive replication, and by doing this, you can easily paste the red squares in one straight line. We also want to vertically paste these squares, so to do that, select all of the squares that are horizontally lined up. Then long press with your two fingers like last time and drag them down. 
Then select duplicate multiple times, which will fill up the square very quickly. Now we'll be creating design inside a small square. Double tap the small square and activate it, and then we'll start drawing shapes in the box. For example, if I took a diamond shape and start drawing inside a square, as you can see, the exact same shape will be drawn to the square on the right. This happens because we turn on the symbol feature earlier. So when you turn on a symbol feature and change the base design, the design will be reflected in the copied and pasted design. This is a very useful tool, so I highly suggest for you to remember how to use it. You can use it when you want to design background or when you create a pattern design, so it'd be great if you master them. The symbol feature is the main topic of this tutorial, so as long as you master this feature, you've already mastered this tutorial. So I hope you learn how to use it. This is what it roughly looks like, and even just by laying out some diamonds, when you zoom out of the design, it pretty much looks like a cool pattern design, so I think it would be alright too if you randomly design something. Here I want to create a pattern design. Since it's New Year, I'm going to design Japanese style pattern. First, I'm going to use an oval shape tool and draw thin ovals, and I'm going to duplicate them. Then I'm going to rotate a little, like this. Then use the repetitive replication tool we used earlier and click on it multiple times until it looks like this. Now I want to add a border. To add an edge, go to Tools and click on the third tool from the right. This is the section for lines, and when you choose the slider, it looks like you added some color to the border. Once you complete one flower, you can just copy and paste to create more of it. To copy and paste, use your two fingers on your left hand, long press and drag to create more flowers. Then keep creating copies of the flower and place them anywhere on the square while paying attention to the overall design. Add some decorations and final touches to your pattern design. Okay, I'd like to wrap it up here for today. I created so many designs for so long that I almost went to a slump, and I got a little confused, but it was really fun making this video. So feel free to try it out. As for these pattern designs, if you practice and get better, you can create complex designs like this. I have no idea how these designs were made. You can also use this to create designs for packages. Creating cute backgrounds will definitely make your packages look fancier. I used to use Illustrator to create these types of design before, but now I can use my iPad to create them, so I was really impressed actually. I suggest watching tutorial videos like this one, or looking up on Pinterest for inspiration for you to try creating your own design. For those who are iPad Make community members, all the data for today's pattern design, as well as additional sources that could be useful, will be uploaded too, so check them out in your free time. Okay, that's all for today. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and I hope you check out my upcoming videos as well. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.